Hair salons are closing their doors to help combat the spread of the virus. While state and local authorities haven't called for mandatory shutdowns, business owners are hoping that will change. 10 News reporter Katie Inman explains. At Grow Knoxville, the decision to close down over coronavirus concerns wasn't an easy one, but they decided to take their customer's safety into consideration instead of salary. Yeah, this was the hardest decision I've probably ever had to make. For Shane Archer and his team at Grow Knoxville, it's important their coronavirus precautions make the cut. I think that it's really important right now for public health, for us, especially being in direct contact with all of our clients and that we're not helping spread whatever this is through the community. This week, keeping clients six feet apart, chairs wiped down and introducing sanitizing stations is ending with the salon voluntarily closing indefinitely. This industry isn't something that we can choose to work from home in or, you know, work even remotely in a six foot distance from people. We're directly touching our guests. But just like most small businesses, closing means sacrificing income and normal wages. Archer tried to prepare financially since day one by purchasing loss of use liability insurance. But since local and state governments haven't ordered salons to close, he can't cash in on that for his employees. It's insane to me that they've closed gyms and restaurants but won't mandate us to close as well. So we're putting people at risk. We're putting our staff at risk. He's hoping to see a result soon. Seems like the city and the county government aren't cooperating with each other and it seems like uh, our state's going to be one of the last ones to do anything about it and unfortunately that's just going to drag this on even longer and hurt us in the long run. For now, they're looking forward to the future. We're going to be the first ones back with extended hours and even um, extended days through the week that we can hopefully accommodate more guests whenever this is over. Katie Inman, 10 News.